Hello, I'm Loopy Fist, and welcome to another Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket deck review. This is a deck that's a little bit dustier than the other ones. It's called Knuckle Dusters. As a matter of fact, I know I misspelled Dusters. I did it on purpose. Did it during the video, and I decided to during chat during the stream. I decided to do it, and I just said, "Oh, screw it. I'm not gonna fix it. We're gonna leave it. It has a little bit of uniqueness now. It has a bit of grit to it." All right, so this obviously is a fighting deck, um, which means it's going to be effective versus, you know, electric type Pokemon uh, decks. You'll see that in the video too. We had went up against an electric type. I, I really like this deck. This was a really fun deck to play. Um, I made it uh, primarily to begin with because I wanted to hit some solo missions up, and some of those require to actually have a fighting deck. But it turns out I really enjoyed playing with this. Uh, for my base Pokemon, I have Sandshrew, Mankey, Cubone, and Clobopus. And I have their evolved forms as Sandslash, Primate, uh, Graplocked, I hope I'm saying it right, and uh, Marowak. I would like to not have to put in the extra, the extras that I have. I have an extra Primate and I have an extra uh, Graplocked. If you have Giovanni, you can throw two Giovannis in here. I wish I did, and I would be happier with that. But that's what i got and items i have two potions two xps two pokeballs two professor's researches and two sabrina but don't forget i said i would also have two giovanni's if i had them i don't I'm, I'm still free to play and i don't have them yet but the main thing with this deck is that the fighting decks can ramp up really quickly so you really only need um like one point or on, on mankey and you're dealing 20 damage each hit but if they attack that and you got 60 damage not very many things can take this out very quickly but you got 60 health that you can deal with but once it becomes primate it actually has this move called fight back and fight back it only needs two two points of energy and it's going to be dealing 60 damage to any pokemon it'll be dealing 100 uh 120 um top i'm sorry it's going to be dealing 100 it's going to be 40 plus 60 it's going to be 100 120 if it's an electric type that's a crazy amount of damage to have to deal with so sometimes you'll just steamroll through your opponents and the only reason the only way to set this off is that you have to be attacked and they're going to probably have to attack you. So if they're not playing anything that's going to be able to attack this and just knock it out in about one hit, you're going to be dealing a lot of damage. And it's still not an EX Pokemon. There's not very many non EX Pokemon that can deal damage like that, that I've seen, that I've encountered. I've been playing a game for almost a week now, and I just haven't encountered it yet. We have Graplocked, which is cool because you have a Sabrina in the deck, but if you don't have a Sabrina out, you can still use this. Now, I do think that this should be, should be buffed at some point. I feel like Graplocked should, I feel like your opponent should not be able to choose which Pokemon is going to be coming in because I, I, honestly, it's it's kind of, it's a little bit backwaterish. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but that's what I'm going to use. Either way, I wish that that was not the case, but it is, and that's all we can really do with that. But it is nice to be able to knock some Pokemon out. Sometimes you know it's going to cost your your um, opponent a lot of energy because you knock their that uh, Pokemon out and then they have to use energy to retreat to get out or they have to use an X, which is nice. An X speed is a good thing to have too. Um, the other one is Sandslash. Sandslash is very basic. He's just going to be dealing 70 damage. But you have a little bit more health than Primate does and you don't have to sacrifice that health in order to get to that higher damage threshold so it could be pretty pretty nice um and getting him can be a steamroll as well and he's a little bit easier to um to have in now one thing i don't like about uh clobopus is that it does cost two to retreat two energies and then grab blocked does cost three that's a little bit of a of a under underwhelming feature but it is what it is now marowak is the only ex card that i have in the deck marowak has boomerang and basically this is your win condition, but you will get screwed over quite a bit. I, I promise you. Boomer is bon, Bonerang. Bon, boner Meringue. I'm sorry. I'm 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 set, I'm looking at it what it's based off of. Anyways, it's 80 times however many heads you get when you flip two coins. So some instances you're gonna have to only deal like 20 damage left, right? And you won't get a single coin flip. And this thing is gonna deal, it's gonna go oh pop zero damage it's not fun it's not it's not what you really want but it happens and it happens to us quite a bit and it's really annoying when it does happen but when you do pop off and you deal 160 damage that's amazing now you are only going to deal an extra 20 um effectiveness 
if you do get uh, a Pokemon like an electric Pokemon and you're gonna be, uh, you know, have a strength strength against it, you're you're only gonna be dealing that one time uh, plus damage, which is crazy because it doesn't hit twice. I wish it would hit twice because then you'd be dealing a hundred damage if it was effective, but that's okay. Besides that, the deck is pretty solid. I wish that I could have the two Giovannis in instead, but maybe, maybe, maybe even not. Maybe I can find another, or maybe you could even find one and, re and replace the two uh, primates and, or maybe one of the primates and one of the grapplocks. Cause for me, what happens is I will end up with those in my, in my hand after I've already played the other ones. And now I have useless cards. You don't want useless pulls in this game. You only got 20 cards. And for the most part, you're not gonna go through your full deck because if you're not gonna get your um your card searching abilities, you're not gonna be able to. So that's the deck. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Tell me if you're enjoying this Pokemon content. If you're not, let me know. Um, if you want more Marvel Snap videos, let me know. You guys do have a say so. I am really enjoying this game, but I do still have Marvel Snap content coming for you guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys like you do not understand and I hope to see you guys coming back around more often. With that being said, peace. It's probably gonna happen soon because my um my best Misty Roll I've hit in Pokemon TCG pocket is popping off right now. We've uh <laughs> we got a lot of um a lot of people have um been viewing that since I posted it. I don't want to go first. Yo, Battle Bean 2, welcome to the loop. True. How's my car shop going? I haven't been able to visit yet. I'll try soon. I haven't played TCG car shop in about two or three days. What is this? Abra? Oh. I shouldn't use that yet. I'm going to bring that in and kill it if I can. Well, guys, new, new, new one piece coming out. Am I playing on computer? Yes. And no, I have a tablet here that is connected to my computer. You just can't tell. There we go. Plug into a new charger. Um, We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna kick this slow poke. Not gonna use Sabrina. We're gonna hope that that slow poke uses tail whip on me. I, if you if you're asking if you're wondering why I didn't transform yet, because I'll deal more damage if I don't. If he if he hits me if he doesn't know that. Okay, so yeah, he didn't know that. Just fine. I can kill that slowpoke next turn. So I can at least kill his slowpoke first. And he has nothing that can deal enough damage to me in one turn. Unless he has. He may have. Oh no, he's psychic, so he won't have that, so. Should I use potion on this? I don't think I should. Nah, I should. Because when primate is damaged, if this Pokemon is, has damage on it, this attack does 60 plus more damage. So it does 100 damage. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. How's my power looking? We're still on 1% power. Hopefully it stays up on the iPad. I, it, 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 the, the charger had got messed up and, and it was, it was jacked up to all hell. So he's probably going to, I wonder if he, he's trying, he's probably trying to like get something in for Abra right now, but I may or may not let him. Okay. Far fetched. He can't, he doesn't even want to put any energy on, on Abra. What's he going to put in instead? Probably, 
probably Mewtwo, huh? I wouldn't have done it, but sure. He doesn't have any energy on Mewtwo, but he can take a hit with it. He can take a hit with it, but he can't take two hits with it. And I'm going to show him that he can't. As a matter of fact, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to Sabrina him and I'm going to play a Pokeball and I'm going to get my, um, what's he going to pull in? Primate's going on a rampage right now. Primate's going to kill his Farfetch'd. I'm going to call in my Sandshrew. I had to remember what my other Pokemon was. Um, and we are going to kill his Farfetch. So now no matter what he has, he has to, well, he's going to put something in. He's probably going to put his Mewtwo in. And I might be able to kill it. He's going to, he's going to kill. Oh, well, he, he's going to kill my uh, Primate, definitely. But what, what we, we we have another Sabrina. So what really what really matters is can I get can I get at least one hit? Can I get at least one one heads? There's no way we won't get at least one heads, right? We gotta get at least one heads, right? Do you guys think we get at least one heads? I hope we get one heads. Does does Marowak fuck? Does Marowak get heads? That's the question, right? This guy's probably upset right now. He has two Sabrinas? Two of them? Double Brina? Sabrina. Yes, get out of here, Mewtwo, with your big ass forehead. There's still a chance you could win now, though. Still a chance. It all determines on what I flip. Marowak, go. Obliterate. Obliterate. Obliterate his asshole. There we go. Great. Flanta. He just couldn't get he couldn't get set up. Those arenas are fantastic, man. They're fantastic. The Magnemite's actually a pretty good deck too. Damn it, man. We didn't get what we needed. This is scary, but we do have a Pokeball, so we can at least put out Cubone. Q boner. Uh, we are we are gonna be an advantage over them though, so it is possible for us to win this easily. You know. Speaking of no Diddy, did you guys see the Diddy trial stuff? I said it once earlier, but the accusations, my God. Be honest, I still have no fucking clue what's happening on this game. Would you like for me to give you a word for word like what's going on? So, so basically in Pokemon, you know that you know that there's evolutions, right? So you got Pikachu into Raichu, right? You got Magnemite into, um, into Magna, into Magneton, I think is what it is. No, cause you got to concentrate. Wait, what? Hmm? No, I can explain. I can explain easily. So I just evolved. You have to, you can't play Marowak unless you have a Cubone to play on top of it, but you can't, you cannot evolve on the turn that you have the, as you play the card down, you have to wait a turn, right? So for instance, right now I got, I got Mankey and Primate, right? I lay down Mankey cause he's a base form, right? I can't lay down Primate until next turn. I got Clobopus and I don't have his evolution, but these are my four base Pokemon besides the Cubone. He's a Marowak now. But these little things down here, this is how much energy I have to use in order to, uh, to in order to perform an attack. So his attack is scratch. It does 10 damage. But because this Magnemite is weak to fighting, all electric or weak to fighting, I'm going to deal an extra 20 damage to him. So I deal an extra 20 damage. It does 30. Now, now that doesn't mean that I'm that I'm that, that I'm weak to that. I'm like ex resistant to him. There's no resistances. No resistances, just weak, just weaknesses. So 
He's going to retreat with this and pull out Zapdos now. Probably. Oh, no, he didn't. Interesting. But you have to have that energy. You know? All right. So I can go ahead and put this primate on the Mankey. But I can't fight with this yet because I don't have enough energy, which really sucks. I can kill his I can kill his Magnemite right now. Or I could get out and put something else in. It's, it, it's all dependent on what I want to do. Now, his Zapdos does 20 damage. Thundering Hurricane does 50 times. Um, 50 times, however many times he flips those four coins. Drawing cards out of the deck is random. You have 20, you have 20 cards in your deck. When you first, the only thing that's not random is the first time that you, the first hand you pull always has to have a base Pokemon. So I'm always gonna get either a Sandshrew, a Clobopus, a Cubone, or a Primate, because those are my base Pokemon, right? So I'm now gonna put a point on Primate because I want him to go in next. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this Magnemite because at this point, it's like either him or me. And he's going to put his Zapdos in probably because his Zapdos has power on it, right? And he knows that I can't kill his Zapdos right now. He wants to kill my Sandshrew. That's his whole, like, his whole thing. Oh, no, he didn't. He wants his Pinchurin in. Okay, and that's fine. So it's his turn now. And we're waiting to see what he's going to do. He put his point on Zapdos. Zapdos has two points of energy now. So Zapdos can still use Peck. Oh, he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. My Pokeball right now, if I play my Pokeball, Pokeballs, let me, let me, let me show you what it does. It Pokeball will put one random basic Pokemon from my deck into my hand. I have no more basic Pokemon. If I play this, I have none. I think that it's bad to do that. I, I should not have done that, but I wanted to show you that. That tells him that everything on my board right now or in my hand is what I got, you know? So I have to be careful about that. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a, another point on Primate to just go ahead and finish him off. And I'm gonna scratch, actually, no, I'm gonna retreat. And I'm gonna put primate in because the, he's he's trying his best right now to not have to fight me. He wants to just keep getting points and stuff. So he's gonna re, he he has to retreat with Pincher in now. He has to, otherwise he's going to be down another Pokemon. Okay, he put his Pikachu in. He's probably gonna still put Zapdos in over here and try to try to do some shenanigans with Zapdos. So Pincher in is gone now. And you can see the card they drew. No, I can't see the card they drew. This is their pile. These, these are their cards. So he's going to flip now. And every time he hits four, every time he hits a heads, which the Pokeball is heads, it does 50 damage to me. So he only did 50 damage. That's great. I wanted him to do damage to this. You know why? Because I deal 100 damage now with Primate. I deal 100. And I can put points on, I can put this in there. Then I can put Marowak in. So now he's gonna have to get this out. He has to get that out. Cause I am going to hit him for a hundred power. Now, funny, fun, funnily enough, you would ask, okay, you said a hundred, but I thought it'd be 120 because this is a lightning Pokemon, right? Yes, but also no. All of the, the bird Pokemon, um, they are considered flying type. I think or something like that. So instead it has a weakness to, to lightning, which is really shitty if you ask me, but hey, it is what it is. So basically now he has 30 health. I have 40. He could, he can try to kill me if he wants to, if he misses, he loses the game. So he got it out. Instead he put Pinchurin in. Pinchurin can't attack me. I feel like that was a bad choice but I can understand why he made it. I think he just lost the game for himself because now I can kill his, 
actually. So hear me out. I could kill this Pinturian, right? Or I can Sabrina. And what's the smartest thing for him to put in if I Sabrina? He can either put Electro Buzz in, which has a chance, which is gonna die. Pikachu's gonna die. And anything he puts in is gonna die. He's gonna put his Electro Buzz in. He always puts his Electro Buzz in. And I don't have to worry about anything. He always puts his Electro Buzz in because he knows this is gonna die. And, and, um, and so is Zapdos. Does that make sense? Pikachu would die because this does 100, but it also does plus 20 on him because he's electric type. Electro Buzz is dead. And I still haven't lost a single Pokemon yet. So this is how, this is how the whole weakness system works, right? He's, he's supposed to struggle against me because I have a weakness too. I'm weak to, um, to psychic Pokemon. So I think also maybe water, maybe water as well, or just psychic, I guess. But, um, but yeah, he, he now is struggling. Like he can, he can, he can't kill this. Dap me up, my boy. He can't kill this right now, and he put this in here. Shouldn't have put it in there. He, but he's lost already. Oh, he can kill me. Never mind. He can kill me. He can kill me. But what's about to happen is actually that I am going to uh, put Marowak in after this, and hope to win. Or I don't have to put Marowak in. But I'm gonna put Marowak in. He steals on one life. And I still have another Sabrina in my deck, I believe. I still have another Sabrina. There's a chance I can pull it. Nope, we got Sand Slash. Which Sand Slash still ain't bad. I'm gonna put this on Sand Slash. And we are going to attack him. Here's the thing. Marowax attack is Boomerang. What that does is I flip two coins. Every time that coin hits heads, I'm gonna deal 80 damage. But in this case, every time I flip it, it's gonna deal 100 damage because this, this is an electric type and I'm, he's weak to me. So if I hit him two times, I still have to hit him two times in order to win this. So if I get two flips right now, it's because it's 80 times. 80 times, however many times I get, I get heads. So I'm, I gotta flip now. And I know they're gonna like, they're gonna screw me over, so. I do a one hit. So here's the thing. Here is the thing. He can kind of try to stall with this Pikachu, but he's probably gonna, he's gonna, he gotta get this one out. He can't kill me. So he's gonna go Zapdos and try to, he's gonna do Zapdos and he's gonna try his best to kill my Marowak right now with Zapdos. If he does, great. He has to get at least three coin flips. So he has to he has to get at least three coin flips right now to win. If he gets these three coin flips, he got he got it. But if not, then it's whatever. Okay, he got one. Okay, so he's done. He loses. He he took a chance. He took a chance, and and that was cool. Now you might be sitting here like, oh well, you still gotta hit a you still gotta hit a coin flip too. No, I don't, because I'm not gonna take that chance. I'm not taking that chance. I could, but I'm not stupid. I'm gonna bring my sand slash in by retreating. Cause you can retreat once a turn if you have the energy to do so. I'm gonna bring my sand slash in who has a 100% hit attack instead of having to do some bullshit like flipping a coin. I'm not doing that shit. I'm just gonna play smart and I'm gonna take out his Zapdos. His Zapdos is actually worth two points because it's an EX Pokemon. EX Pokemon, they have like extra abilities. You saw he had the peck and he also had the thundering storm or whatever it was called. Um, that that uh, basically um, gives them like you, you have more inner, you have more HP, you deal more damage, but if you get knocked out, that's two points. I got to win three points to win. In this case, it didn't matter because I, he was going to lose the next Pokemon he had anyways. So it didn't matter. But we, that was a very good game right there. Very good game to show off um, how to play the game. I'll put that in my video, the next video that I make with this deck. But uh, but yeah, that's that's how you, um, that's that's the basics of the game. See, you see right here, it says EX, right here on this Pokemon. 
it's it's a basic Pokemon, and there are Zapdoses that are not EX, you know? So basically the Zapdos that isn't EX, it doesn't have Peck. It only has the Thundering Hurricane, and I think it deals a little bit less damage, maybe. I, I, I may be wrong about that, but but it also doesn't have as much HP probably. It might have 120. But when you kill that Zapdos, it's just one point, right? This one is like a, it's like two cars bundled into one, basically. Been playing some Strive. Everybody apparently is complaining about Slayer. Been working, been working a lot. Me too, dude. Have you seen my YouTube channel? I've been posting a video every single day of something, at least. Spotty dope as shit too, though. Yeah, like if I if I had to choose who I wanted to be as a superhero. I don't know. If, okay, let me ask you guys in chat. If you had to choose between being Batman or Spider-Man, who would you be? Now, before you answer that, I want you to realize Spider-Man has a lot of problems that Batman doesn't have, but Batman has a lot of problems that Spider-Man doesn't have. But I, I think that at the end of the day, I would probably want to be, I would probably want to still be Batman. I don't know though. It's kind of tough. Probably Spider-Man. Probably Spider-Man, older or newer, whichever one you want to be. But the, the issue is that Batman, like he he takes micro naps, right? My, Batman takes micro naps. He doesn't sleep anymore. He's always prepared for everything though. But do you know the mental strain that it puts on Batman to always be prepared for every single situation? Do you know? Like that's, that's, that's a lot of mental stack. You have to have the mental capacity to do that, you know? And that's a lot. That is a lot. So, um, yeah. So another tip for you guys, always use your Pokeball before you use Professor um, Research. Pokeball is guaranteed to give you a basic Pokemon, right? So I know I'm getting a Cubone. So I know that I'm getting something that I want to play, right? That I can play. And Professor's Research is going to give you something that's other than that, right? So you, I got a potion. I got two potions. So I, if I would have played Professor's Research instead, maybe I would have gotten a Cabone and then I would have gotten a potion. So it's it's like, what do you want to do, you know? For the most part, I say... Oh, we're playing fighting versus fighting, but he's using the Machamp, the Machoke uh, version of the fighting. I really need to get a uh, Sand Slash. We have one, but I can't put it on there yet. If he doesn't heal that thing, I'm going to kill it. I'll be the heavyweight boxer, 40 year old Batman that sat Superman's ass down. <clears throat> wait, what are you? Wait, so you're, you're going the route of who's stronger or who's better. I'm just saying that you're going to be in for a world of hurt because you're going to have a lot of things to deal with. You know, you're going to, you're going to have a lot of things to deal with as a, um, as Batman. You're gonna have a lot of things to deal with. All right, we're gonna heal this up back to 100 health. We're gonna hit him with a slash and we're gonna take his ass out. So will, so will you do? Yeah, 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 no. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know which one I wanna be. I don't know which one I wanna be. Because it's, it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Spider-Man is constantly dealing with like he, he, he Spider-Man has a lot of the problems that Batman has, but the only thing, only difference is that Batman besides being Batman is also rich, like, you know, like, but he never gets to enjoy that money. I feel like, right. And even when he's like going out to show his face, you know, like he still is like, oh my God, man, I bet he's super fucking tired still. Like he takes micro naps throughout the day and that's crazy. You know, Spider-Man is always tired. He's always late to stuff. Like he just can't get shit right, you know? And that sucks. So I can, I don't know if he wanted to do that and I guess he wanted to just like, if I get an X speed, I can get Marowak out for free. He, he might have a Steelix too. So you're gonna start putting points on that, okay. All right, let's use our Pokeball first. Okay, so we got Mankey. 
Do I want to use Sabrina and make him put something? He's he's gonna try to use this Onyx. He's gonna try to use that Onyx to um as a, as a meat shield. And I don't think I want him to do that. I don't want him to do that. Says I can't be taking micro naps. I'd accidentally sleep for eight hours, dude. You know what's funny? I, I used to take naps. When I used to work at Best Buy. I would take naps in the um in my uh in my car. I would like go outside and take a nap in my car. And one time I did like forget to come back. It only happened once though. It only happened once and it was funny. It was funny as hell. So he's not gonna be able to like, so now he's gonna start pivoting to this Onyx probably. But we use Sabrina cause we don't want, cause he, he, gotta, he gotta put another point of stuff on her. He's got a Kabuto, but I don't think I care too much about the Kabuto. He's not gonna be able to use this Onyx and I'm gonna kill it. Oh, he's gonna take an energy. Never mind. He's gonna hit my sand slash, but it's not gonna kill it. It's not gonna kill my sand slash. Now I get to kill his Onyx. Now he's not gonna have any energy besides his Kabu Tops. Now Kabu Tops deals 40 damage, but what he doesn't know that I do know that he would never know is that I have a potion. So I'm not really afraid about that. I'm not worried about that in the least bit, you know? Not the least bit worried about that. And now he's probably upset because he's like, man, I had a whole idea and a plan. I'm gonna go with my clobble puss up here because why not? Um, Cause now his, his Kabuto is not gonna be able to kill me. And he has to put that Kabuto in or he, or he has to put the Onyx in. He's gonna put the Onyx in. And here's the thing about Onyx. Oh no, he put the Kabuto in, Never mind. He knows he can deal a little bit of damage with that, but it's not gonna kill me though, unless he has Giovanni. If he has Giovanni, then it's gonna kill. If he doesn't, then I don't have anything to worry about. Oh, never mind. I didn't realize he had a Kabu Tops. I haven't seen a Kabu Tops yet. What does this do? Leech Life. Heal from this Pokemon the same amount of damage you did to your opponent's active Pokemon. Interesting. I like that. That's a cool, that's a cool uh, move. I don't have a Kabu Tops. But I would like to have that now that I've seen that. I'm, I, I want that. That would be nice to have. I'm gonna put my Marowak in, and we're gonna try to get some good hits in. We're not, we're not damaged or anything, so that's good. If I got a Sabrina, I would have used it, but we don't have it. We're gonna drop, drop the hammer on Marowak, and let's see if we can get some, some boomer, some boom, some boom slangs. Fuck. Give me, give me just one game. Can I fucking have just one? Can I, for one time, can I not just like stick the bone up his ass? Like what the fuck is? It's okay. Did I watch the Sandman? No. No, I don't know what that is. This is really shitty, by the way. TV show came out on Netflix. No, I never watched that. He's gonna make us get out, okay? Um, I don't know what Pokemon he has. He has an Onyx and he has, that does 70 damage. I should put in Primate. I'm gonna put Primate in. Because at least I can try again to get another hit on couple tops. I don't know what to tell you. So he's gonna kill that, but I'm not even gonna like use. I'm gonna use extra treat. And I'm gonna put this on grap grappolas. Grap. Put it on him because we, we know that he can at least tank some hits. Now, Marowak, can you do me a favor, buddy? Can you please, please? Oh my God. Oh, come on now. We still, I wish I could have got a double, but I mean, eight, I mean, that's fine. He's gonna heal some of that, but we're still fighting back and back and forth. Now, I don't know what Hitmonlee does. This guy has a really cool fighting deck. This mine is very mediocre. Uh, stretch kick. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Oh my god. 
that's kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. Does he have another Brock? He probably does at this point. He's gonna heal some damage on Cobble Tops. Okay, cool. Man. Not looking good. Not looking good for us. Uh, we might be able to still win if we get a double. I'm kind of wanting to like get a Sabrina myself. Damn. I will still survive. Energy can be attacked. Oh, shit. That's why I have that up there. Let's see. There's no way we get a bunch of tails again. I'm honestly like triggered right now. Like what the fuck? What the fuck game? Like, can I, I can't have no good rolls on nothing, man. Sucks, dude. I'm fine. You think so? I mean, if he puts that, he's going to, he, he can't kill me with that. Uh, unless he has Giovanni. No, he still can't kill me because Giovanni does 10, but still though, I'm still, he's going to put that, um, He's gonna put Onyx in. If I get my, what I really need, it doesn't even matter. If I was to get my uh, Sabrina, my second Sabrina, do I have it still? Yeah, I've only used one Sabrina. That'd be nice. That'd be pretty fucking nice. Will we get it? I don't know, but it'd be nice to. Um, gonna deal 70 damage to me. Okay, cool. That's great. Cool. That's great. I'm gonna get the fuck out. Oh, I got Sabrina. I got Sabrina. We have to hit one roll. We gotta hit one roll. We just got it, baby. All we gotta do is hit a roll. All we gotta do is hit one fucking heads. Guys, there's no way we don't get a heads right now, right? There's like no way. If we don't get a heads, I'll be so fucking shocked. There's they gave they 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 can give the game to him right now if they just give him a heads. If they don't, if they give him a, if they give him if they give me two tails. Let's fucking go, baby. We're back. We're fucking back. And we got the double. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's go. Let's go. I, I wanted to win that one, man. That was, that was, he had a better, he had a better fighting. He had a better fighting deck than me. Like he definitely did, but I still was able to come back with the Marowak though. Even though we hit some bad fucking spins, man. That was, that was, that was, that was borderline terrible. Borderline terrible, man. Cause Kiki wasn't here to hate. Kiki is actually my good luck charm. That cobble, I want that cobble tops. I want cobble tops. Where's cobble tops at? Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to check out this one right here. And also don't forget to subscribe. Have a great spooktober.